Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin in the Woods. It is the morning of day 33 and the first thing we're going to do as always is spend all of these skill points. So I'm going to go ahead and max out Fortitude and then max out Machine Gunner. That leaves us with three points. I'm going to level up Perception and that leaves us with one point. Um, can we go Lucky Looter again? Yep. Okay. That works. Now, we got a bunch of repair work to do here. I don't think I'm going to have enough steel to repair all the steel. I got some crafting in the forge right now, but we're completely out of iron. So we need to go mine some iron when we're done repairing what we can here, and then get right back to the cabin and start smelting it down in the forge, because we can't wait until it's like hour 17 or 18, and then come back here and start smelting the iron down. That's not going to work. We need to smelt it down like right away, so when we get back here, we can start crafting more steel, in case, like I said, we don't have enough to do the repair work here. But uh, let's get this done. And then, like I said, we'll go mine some iron. We'll come right back here, get that smelting down in the forge. And then we got a treasure chest we can go pick up. And I'd also like to mine maybe some coal and nitrate powder as well. So we can get uh, more gunpowder moving. Because that, this is going to be the challenge at this point moving forward. Is, is keeping up with all this repair work and keeping up with the ammo we're going to need. And, and it's just a matter of time before we can't keep up with that stuff. But hey, that's the challenge. We're here to see how long we can do that for. So I got a little bit of steel that I crafted out of the forge, but I didn't even bother grabbing that at this point because it's not going to be enough to finish the repair work that needs to happen. So we got to go out and get more iron so we can get back and get it smelting down in the forge. Um, this way later we can craft out the steel that we need and get the repair work done before the horde shows up. Uh, oh, here's some coal. Might as well mine this because I want to grab coal today too. I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze in any looting today. I'll try, but it's most likely going to be a mining, treasure chest, more mining, and repair work day. Because then, uh, with, you know, with mining the coal and the nitrate powder, I also want to get back to get gunpowder crafting so we can make more ammo. So, this is just what our days are going to turn into moving forward if we want to try to survive as long as we can. Oh, look at this. We're hitting iron now. We got a two-for-one deal in this hole. That's good. Hopefully we can get enough iron uh, that will justify heading back to the cabin right now because we're not far away at all. Look at this. We're hitting nitrate powder now. We got coal, lead, iron, and nitrate powder out of one hole. That's fucking sweet. I'm going to call this the glory hole. I don't think anyone's ever used that phrase before. Maybe. You kids should Google it. Google Glory Hole and see if anyone's used that saying before. Alright, that was pretty sweet. We got a good amount of iron. Not so much lead and nitrate powder, but a decent amount of coal out of there. I think that justifies heading home at this point. Oh look, here's some more iron right here. Let's grab some more iron before we head home. Because not only do I want to start getting this shit smelting down in the forge, I also want to craft more junky ammo. And then the only other thing I want to mine more of today is nitrate powder. Alright, we're looking good. We got a whole bunch of iron smelting down in the forge, stone smelting down in the other forge, a whole bunch of gunpowder being made in the chem station, and crushed sand and concrete being made in the mixer. Now, I know it's a bit late in the game on a Horde Every Night series, we're at day 33, but I think we should probably craft a third forge and dedicate that one strictly to brass and lead. 
This way we have one forge where we smelt down mainly iron and clay, another forge where we smelt down mainly stone, and then a third one where we smelt down mainly, like I said, brass and lead, even though we're gonna have to smelt down clay in that one as well, because to make brass casings, you need brass and clay. Fuck, maybe we should have put a point into lock picking. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow if we survive the horde tonight. So I'm wasting a whole bunch of lock picks here. Come on. There we go. Ooh, look at all this shit. Level 5 M60. I think we're going to use that tonight. And we got another rocket frag. That's nice. All right. Um. You know what? I brought this vulture with me. Might as well use it. Okay, um, as much as I'd like to do some looting right now, I don't know if there are any POIs around. Let's just cruise around, see if we can find nitrate powder, and at that point, we'll probably just head home and get all this work done. Oh, here's some iron. Let's grab a little more iron first, then we'll look for the nitrate powder, then we'll head home, get all this work done, and if we have any spare time afterwards, we'll head to the cemetery that's right by the cabin and loot all the coffins that are there. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Uh, let's check this house out real quick. Why, why the hell not? I don't think it's a dungeon-style POI. It's got a basement, so maybe there's some good loot in there. Oh, you yeah, son of a bitch. I mean, fuck it. We might as well. We got some time. Anything in here? I'm only going for the good stuff. Back up, lady. Any zombies in here? No? Some luggage? Nothing. Come on, give me some loot. Machete schematic. We already have a level six, though, so I guess I'll just read it for the XP. Hey, wake up, bitch. What are you doing sleeping in the bathroom? Where do you think you are, work? I used to know a guy that would do that shit when he used to work in an office. He wouldn't sleep in the bathroom, but he would disappear into the bathroom for like 15 minutes. He wasn't even shitting. He was just sitting on the toilet fucking around with his phone or whatever. It's like, dude, just get your work done. What are you doing in the bathroom, you know what I mean? This guy's feral, I saw it in his eyes. So I'm just trying to keep him down. Will you die already? There we go. Got a gun safe right here. Before we crack into that, let's clear this closet. Oh, no, it's a bathroom. That's clear though, and I wanna check these bookshelves. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I kinda get it, disappearing into the bathroom like that. Sometimes you just need a break, I guess. But for me, my fucking parents and my grandparents, they just instilled too good of a goddamn work ethic into me. I just, I couldn't do something like that. I like to work hard. I do. I would rather be working and doing something than just sitting in the fucking bathroom doing nothing. You know what I mean? My grandmother used to say, listen, whatever you're doing in life, do your best. If you're a shit shoveler, be the best shit shoveler around. You know what I mean? And, uh... I think there's something to that. You should always work hard and do your best, whatever it is you're doing. And not much in there, but if we repair that level four steel sledge, it'll sell for a good amount. It's gonna take this radiator apart. We'll get out of here. Well, I didn't see any nitrate powder, but that's all right. I did have a decent amount in storage before, so we got a good amount of gunpowder crafting. Let's get as much steel crafting as we can. And let's get some clay into this forge. All right. Let's get all this other shit organized, get geared up, do the repair work we need to do, and fight this horde. And we can always mine more coal and nitrate powder tomorrow.
pretty much ready to go. Just got to put the bars outside the front door, get the junkies loaded up and put down. And that's it. So it's hour 18. Let's spend some time over here at the graveyard. If you remember, we raided this place, but then we activated a quest here, which reset everything. So all of these coffins and graves are back where they're supposed to be. And look at that, we just got a piece of silver from that coffin, because if you also remember, we read the book that allows us to harvest certain loot, precious gems and shit from coffins. Not all the time, like right there we just got wood, but sometimes we could pull uh, silver or diamonds or gold from breaking up a coffin, so we're going to spend some time here looting the coffins, which usually have good loot in them anyway, and then breaking them up to see if we can get some gems. Oh, damn it, lady. Can I rob graves in peace? Jeez. I guess the zombies respawned here, which is good to know because I was thinking about heading down into the crypt. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that guy scared the fuck out of me. I'm not surprised the cops show up when we are digging fucking graves up. Wow. He must have, uh... He must have come out of there, that, uh, little room over there. There's actually a coffin inside. We can go break it up. I think I looted it already. Yep. Alright. This might be the last one. Or no, there's a, another grave right here. Two more. And then we can take a quick look down in the uh, crypt. I know there are two coffins right there as soon as you get downstairs, but... I don't think we should get too deep in there because, like I said, if the zombies respawn down there... That's gonna be quite a fight. And I'd rather just get home and get into position. Break these up here. Just some wood. Yeah, see? They respawn down here. And, uh, if we fight them all, it's gonna be a decent little fight. Yeah, there's a green guy over there. Let's just bounce. We'll go home. And, uh, get the bars up, get the junkies into place. And just wait for the horde. Here we go. I'm gonna drink one of these recogs right now and just set it off right here at the doorway with the SMG. Get as many kills here as we can. Here comes this dog. Oh shit. <laughs> he took off like a fucking rocket. Oh, look at this. Got a demolisher right away. Oh, he went down. He's getting back up. Oh shit. All right, he died. That would not have been a good way to start off the horde. With a demolisher blowing up right outside the front door. Well, we're keeping them at bay tonight. This M60 is a monster. I know I said it wastes a lot of ammo, but it also wastes a lot of zombies. There goes a cop. I hear what... Yeah, there he is. I was going to say, I hear another demolisher. Where'd he go? Come here, you fucker. Ah, whatever. Oh, shit. Not good. Let's get out of here. He destroyed the bars. I thought he was going to destroy the bars and the hatch. Luckily, he didn't. Let's get some fire down there and keep working.
right, let's repair these bars. Doing a pretty good job at holding them back. I don't know if we can maintain this all night, but I'm going to try. Let's get the rest of this junky ammo loaded in. And if we just keep working them with the shotgun, M60, and, uh, oh yeah, the rocket launcher. Let's get one of those down there. Fuck yeah. Dude, we might be able to hold them back at the bars tonight. Look at these two fucks just hanging out. Man, I'm taking a bit of a beating. I guess I should use a first aid bandage. That'll give us some health back and make that abrasion heal faster. And I'm also going to uh, eat some honey to get rid of that infection. I also have a first aid kit and some painkillers on me, but we're doing all right right now. I'm not going to go crazy and use all the first aid in one go. Damn, that cop just jumped up and puked at me in mid-air. That's the first time I've ever seen that move. Oh, and he just exploded. That's all right, though. Man, we're clearing him out. And we still have both of these iron bars in front of us. I'm telling you, we may be able to hold him back here. We are running out of 7.62, though. So that might be a problem. I guess we should take a painkiller. Once I get down to below half health, that's when I deem it time to heal up. Oh shit. They just broke a set of bars. I wasn't keeping up on repairing them, fuck. Now they only got one set in front of us and that makes me nervous. Even though it is at full health, I probably will end up backing up behind the uh, hatches because the last thing I want to happen is them to break through those bars and corner us again. Oh, this SMG needs to be repaired, and this cop is gonna fucking blow up. We gotta get out of here. Oh, there he goes. That's okay, I'm alright, man. We, we held our own behind those bars for quite a while. Let's uh, use one of these bad boys. Bam, we got one left. I'll use it if I have to, otherwise we'll hold on to it. Let's use this last Molotov, though. Oh, shit. Man, right on the stairs. Okay, they're still intact, so that's good. Oh, damn it. Well, this isn't good. Man. We were doing so good. Look how quickly things can get fucked up. All right, I think that's it. Not nope, Mo's getting up. Now that's it. Wow, what a night. It started off great, went to shit real quick. I can't believe the stairs stayed intact. Alright, take all that stuff. Doesn't seem like there's that many loot bags, does it? Maybe some fell down? Oh, there's quite a few out here. And the front porch took a whole bunch of damage from that demolisher that blew up out here. But like I was saying, we were doing great. We were holding them off at the bars, and then uh, 
All hell broke loose. And when you're dealing with demolishers and cops, that can happen, man. Everything could be going great, and the next moment, your base is all fucked up. So, it is what it is. We survived. We got a lot of repair work to do. And, uh, we'll do what we can. For now, though, let's collect the rest of this loot and call it a night. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go grab those two junkies, though. Put them into storage for now. And we'll get all this loot organized, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 34. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin in the Woods, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.